Hi guys. Uh, one of the questions that I see a lot from people, um, vegans especially, and is that uh, they're always asking how much protein should I get? And I see a lot of responses uh, from other individuals saying, oh, well, you get all the protein you need from you know, this food, or you don't need that much protein, or, or whatever. And they say everything except ask, answer the question that's being asked. And, uh, you know, so there is a finite answer to that question. Uh, there are some recommendations by the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. And it's true that you don't need a lot of protein. It's true that you don't, uh, you can get all the protein you need from just a few food choices. But uh, just to answer the question though, let's actually put something to it. And the, uh, the recommendation by the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics is that an individual at a healthy body weight, and that is key, because say you're 250 pounds, you're really overweight, um, you know, you're, you're obese, you don't need to eat protein for all that fat. You just need to eat protein for your lean body mass and for or your muscles and for your organs and bone tissue and things like that. And uh, I, I don't know if it's a dysmorphia or, or whatever you know the term that goes with that is, but I, I see a lot of people that are really over obese and they're like, oh, well, I'm, I'm all muscle though. And it's like, no, man, no, you're not all muscle. That's, that's crazy. Um, so let's just assume that you are at a healthy body weight, though. And I'm going to use myself as an example. And honestly, uh, here's a picture of me from this morning. I could stand to lose uh, some weight. I am a bit overweight still. So, you know, I'm not doing this for me based on, you know, because I think I'm lean. Uh, I'm just using myself as an example, and I'm, uh, you know, pretty heavy. So, uh, say I was much leaner than I am. Uh, say I, I weigh 190 pounds. Now the, the recommendation is 0.8 grams per kilogram. That's for an average person that is active in fitness. Now I'm gonna in a second I'm gonna go on to some protein recommendations for strength athletes because they're uh, slightly different. They go both below and far above. Uh, the recommendation for normal people. So first, let's just talk about the recommendation for um, people that are engaged in normal types of fitness. Uh, basketball, uh, yoga, aerobics, uh, endurance, athletics, uh, you know, other types of sports and calisthenics. Um, so those types of people, you know, and uh, calisthenics could go either way. Because Some people, they do lots of calisthenics in order to put on muscle. Uh, we're just going to assume that your goal is to be, um, how do you say it, uh, um, goal oriented. Um, my current body weight is 190 pounds, so I need to figure out what that is in kilograms. Uh, so uh, to do that, I'm going to do 190 divided by uh, 2.2, and that comes out to 86 kilograms. So I have 86 kilos. Uh, therefore, I'm going to take that 86 and multiply that by 0.8, because that was the recommendation, was 0.8 times your body weight in kilograms. And that comes out to, we'll say 69, 16, it's 68.8. We'll say 69 grams of protein in a day for me to maintain my current body weight. Now, we already mentioned that I'm overweight, so at 190 pounds, I really don't need to eat 69 grams of protein in order to support my body fat. I need to eat something probably closer to 60 grams or less a day to support my current weight. Now, uh, to do that, that is not a lot of protein. That would be classified as a low protein diet. So essentially what I'm saying is that the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics the experts on nutrition are recommending that you don't get tons of protein. I'm a vegan, so I don't eat any any meat products whatsoever. But my point in saying that is that if you're a meat eater, chances are you're far exceeding the recommendations on what you ought to be getting for protein. And those additional calories will make you fat. They will increase your body weight. 
I used to be under this delusional mindset that uh, if you ate lots of protein, you would stay lean, and you eat lots, you eat very few carbohydrates because carbohydrates make you fat. And you know what? I got even tons, tons fatter than I am now. It's taken me quite a while to recover from that. And I've lost weight, a lot of weight from doing that. I was up over 220 pounds. And uh, I got down to about 170, or 170, I was at 175, and I decided I wanted to start lifting weights. And that was uh, back this past May, May 2012, I was, wanted to start lifting weights. And I had been following this raw vegan diet for quite a while. Well, not quite a while, uh, since last December, so like five months by then. And I lost a lot of weight. And so I decided, well, I want to, you know, get big. I want to put on some muscle. And I'm still in that phase right now. But, um, so I, I started eating, consuming tons of food. I was eating uh, between four and 5,000 calories a day. I didn't need that many calories, but, you know, it, there were benefits to it. Anytime you increase your caloric intake that much, there are benefits to it. So uh, that being said, let's move on to strength athletes. Now, the New Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, they've done some research on both uh, what was the minimal amount of in protein intake that strength athletes could get and still maintain or build muscle, and they did research on what was optimal for strength athletes to gain muscle. And the lower levels for that uh, went all the way down to 0.5, so that's even lower than what the recommendation is for the average person that's active and involved in fitness, because the recommendation is that everyone be active and engaged in fitness. So it goes all the way down to 0.5 grams per kilogram. So that means, again, for me at 86 kilos, I weigh 86 kilos, multiply that by 0.5, well, it's going to be 40, uh, 42, or 43, yeah, 43 grams. So I can get as little as 43 grams of protein. If I'm on the 30 bananas a day, um, you know, the, the website, Durian Rider, most, most people, if you're watching this, you've probably heard of him. He's very popular. Uh, the 30 bananas a day .com. If I eat 30 bananas in a day, that's 3,000 calories, I'm going to get about that amount of protein in a day. So at 190 pounds overweight, I'm I'm going to get enough protein to build muscle even on just eating 30 bananas a day .com. Now, I, I mean 30 bananas a day. Now, I don't recommend it. I'm not into that. I think that you ought to eat lots of greens. You ought to eat a variety of fruits, and they do too. I don't, I don't think any of them are saying that, but you can be for significant amounts of times nutritionally adequate just from eating bananas. Uh, but I don't think anybody's saying that you're healthy and you should do that all the time. You should eat a variety of foods. and. Uh, you know, I like getting a lot of my um, nutrients from fruits. I, I'm, you know, I keep basically a raw vegan diet with some cooked foods added in here and there. But, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm an advocate of that. I, I like it. And I believe in it. But uh, that their recommendations, as far as the caveat nutrition dietetics goes, goes all the way up to 1.4 grams. Actually, it's changed. I'm sorry. Uh, they went. Several years ago, the recommendation was between 1.2 and 1.4 grams per kilogram of body weight. Uh, so for me, again, at 190 pounds, that would be anywhere from 100 grams a day to 120 grams a day. And that was what they found uh, increasing protein intakes for strength athletes, that that was, what, that was the upper echelon. That was the, that was the maximum amount that brought them benefits, anything beyond that. And really, Compared to the recommendations today, 120 grams still isn't a lot of protein. Uh, I think uh, from the last I read, their recommendations now go all the way up to 1.8 grams per kilogram. Uh, further, in, I think further studies or whatever they've done have given <coughs> uh, more, you know, they've shown that more protein has been beneficial in, in some cases. So they increase their recommendation for strength athletes. And the article on that that's at their website, I'll post in the comments section below. Um, but so that is a little bit about the recommendations from the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics and what their studies have found both on the average person involved in fitness and in strength athletes. And that is just what it is. It's not a lot of protein. You don't need tons of protein. You need protein in your diet, though.
and uh, my next video will be about where that protein comes from, where I get my protein from. I already told you I eat uh, basically a raw vegan diet, and I have found that taking some additional protein is beneficial, and I'm going to talk to you in the next video about where that protein comes from, uh, because I generally keep a low-fat diet too. I don't eat tons of nuts and seeds. I eat some nuts and seeds, but right around 10 to 12 percent of my diet comes from fats. So you know, since I'm not eating a lot of nuts and seeds, you say, where does your protein come from? Well, next video I'm going to talk about that.